Welcome everybody. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the features of the WIC 3509T inspection camera from Whistler. Uh, the first part I want to take a look at here, we've got our hand grip. And uh, first thing you'll want to do is install the batteries. We're going to do that on the bottom of the hand grip. Uh, you will need a screwdriver to remove this screw here. And then the battery door will open up. And it's going to take four AA batteries inside here. All right. uh, once you've got those installed, what we'll go ahead and do is attach the camera to the hand grip. All right. And the way that we'll do that, if you notice at the end of the camera there's a little tab sticking out. And at the end of the hand grip there is a flat spot. So we'll line that tab up with the flat spot. which will allow the two co to connect together. And then we'll slide this collar down forward. And then that will screw together with the camera. Now we want to make sure that we get this connection good and tight because it is waterproof. And we don't want any water getting in there. Alright, so once we've got that good and tightened, uh, what we can go ahead now and do is attach the monitor to the hand grip and we're going to do that on the back. You'll see there's a uh, little plate here and on the back of the monitor it's got a groove that's going to match up with that. So we'll go ahead and slide that on and snap it down into place. Okay, and now on the hand grip to turn it on, if we look at the bottom of the hand grip, there's a little power wheel right here and we'll just slide that, uh, there's a little marker on the side of the hand if you can see it here. Uh, one way is off, the other way is on, so we'll slide it to the on position, it'll click, and then our power indicator lights on the top of the hand grip to show us that the power is in fact on. And if we look at the end of the camera here, we can see that it does have some LED lights that are adjustable. And if we just turn that wheel, we can brighten those and uh, increase our visibility. Alright, uh, next thing I want to take a look at is on the monitor itself. On the side of the monitor here, we've got our USB port. Uh, this is going to be where you can connect to download your uh, recordings onto your computer. We've got a video out port. You can connect to view your recordings on an external TV or monitor. And we've got our micro SD card slot right here. And then the last port on this side is going to be our DC input for charging the internal battery. On the other side of the monitor, we can take a look here. And we've got our uh, control buttons on the side. We've got the down button, the menu, the up button, and OK. These are going to allow us to uh, cycle through some different options on the monitor. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a cl closer look at the monitor and see how those work. Alright, so to power on the monitor, uh, right up here on the top of the unit is the power button. So what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the power button down for about two seconds. And then the screen will come on. We can let our power button go. Alright, and we've got our image on the screen. Alright, um, over here on the right side, uh, when you've got the monitor detached from the hand grip, it's in the wireless mode. And you'll see up in the top right corner it's got a CH for a channel and a number. That's going to need to be on channel 4 to get a picture. And if you're not on channel 4, you'll use the down button over here on the side to change your channel. And we've got four different channels to choose from. Channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Uh, the next button here is going to be our menu button. Uh, if we press and hold this button down until the hourglass appears on the screen, that's going to get us into our menu. And then once we're in the menu, uh, we can use our arrow buttons to cycle through the different uh, menus that we want to go to. We hit OK when we find the one we want. And we can go in here and we can make our adjustments uh, in here. Uh, to back out of the menu, just press and release the menu button. It takes us up one level. Press it and one more time and we're back to our video monitor. So, as you can see here, we've got the camera down in a tube, and we've got a ring down the bottom of there. Uh, we're trying to get that ring out, and you can see it may be a little bit dark down in there, so what we can do is we can adjust the brightness on our LEDs, and as you can see, we get a much better picture while we're down in there. And there's the ring. Okay, so these are the features of the WIC 3509P inspection camera from Whistler. You can learn more about this product and our others at our YouTube channel. That's at youtube.com slash Whistler Group Inc. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.